Now you've run out of ports for any more M.2s on your motherboard. You want to add more, but you can't. Well, you can. So I've got a few examples in front of me where I'm going to demonstrate over the course of about two or three videos. And the reason why I want to take two or three videos is I want to show you step by step on how to do it with each product. And that way you don't have any surprises. So if you want to add one, generally speaking, that's not a problem. If you want to add two or more, there could be some bio settings that you got to change around. So if you stick around, I'm going to show you exactly how to add these and get that done so you can get up and running with more storage. All right, so here before me, I have my 11th gen build. And in particular, this motherboard is an Asus Z590 Strix. It has the capability of holding three NVMe drives. So I only have the top one uh, occupied right now, the bottom two that are underneath the graphics card. There's nothing in them. We are going to assume, well, not assume, but we are going to pretend that I do have those occupied in the bottom. Now the top one is a Gen 4 speed. The bottom two are Gen 3 speeds. That's you know something if you want to learn that that has to do with the with the um, whoop, with the SSDs, right? The NVMe's. So this would be a Gen 4 speed one. This is a Samsung 980 Pro, and this is a Samsung 970 Evo Plus. This is a Gen 3 speed. So when we're talking about speeds, this is capable of about 7,000 megabytes a second. This is about 3,500 megabytes a second. So that's just in general. Um, now, when we're talking about adding another car, let's just say you had three in there, you needed one more, you just need that one more and you don't wanna do an external drive and you didn't wanna hook up a, a SATA drive. So you'd have to run cabling and another power. So, you're like, you know what? I got a PCI Express lane free. And what do I mean by that? Is right here on my demo board, you have PCI Express lanes. This is what you plug your graphics card into. Anyone, well, not anyone, but you could run them in any, but those are PCI Express lanes, all three of these guys right here. And not all PCI Express lanes are equal. Some are by 16, some are by eight, and some are by four, some are by one. So you just gotta know what your motherboard is. You, you should, it'll all be in your manual. But let's say you wanted to add an extra drive. Well, I got this guy right here. This is by Sabrent. This is for NVMe only. M.2 to PCI Express by 16 by 8 by 4 card. Now you can see it says by 16, you know what I was just talking about there, by 16 by 8 by 4. What does that mean? Well, that just means it can go in any one of those slots and it'll work at full function, full speed. And there's really nothing you need to do uh, necessarily in the BIOS unless you've got a cheaper board. Um, which we're going to talk about in the, in the next video, what you have to turn on in the BIOS if you're needing to support more than one of these NVMEs. And you need to turn on what's called bifurcation. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Um, let's just say you wanted this. This is capable. Um, it should be Gen 4 speeds. I'm trying to figure out that right now. All right, we're gonna figure this out together because it does not say Gen 4 or Gen 3 speed. So I'm guessing it's a Gen 3, but I just don't know if it's Gen 4, beautiful. We're gonna put in our Gen 4 and see what it does. It's only gonna be limited by this. So as we pull this guy out, this comes with a screwdriver. It also comes with the unit. This has got the heat sink built right on it. 
And we do have to take it off by these three, four screws in the back. You can see all the screws right there on the four corners. And that's the front. So I'm gonna take the back cover of this off. These are non-captive screws, so do not lose them. Now, when we're talking about this one, and this one in particular, this is more permanent. You aren't gonna change this out very quick because it kind of comes apart in a lot of pieces. So they do give you a couple thermo pads in case you need to change one out. Uh, let's see, we are going to add this in. It's got the little, you'll see on here, right where you put the drive. And you see right down here, where the drive has got to get locked in, it's got a screw on the back. We need to take that off. These screw drivers that they give you are kind of cheesy. But take that off. We're going to take our drive, line it up notch to notch. Slip it right in there. Push it in. All of them do this. Then we're going to take this guy. It's got a little slit in it. We're going to put it right in that drive like that. And then we're going to put it down and hold it down. Turn it over and feed the screw right in the back. There, that's done. Now, technically speaking, you could just put this in without the heat sink on. We're gonna put the heat sink on. Oh, they give you different thicknesses. All right, so actually one would be for the top and one would be for the bottom if you had a dual. Ah, uh, the thicker one seems like it's for the bottom. All right, we're gonna put this piece back on. So if you had one of these drives that had chips on the top and the bottom, you would... Are these this... No, they're different sizes. Ah, but they give you more. Okay. Then we're going to place it. You can kind of see me going on right here. And I just place it like that right over top of the chips. And then, I have forgotten how this goes in. Ah, okay. Right like that. Nope, that's upside down. It's actually gonna go in like this. I don't know if that's thick enough. Interesting. Then we're going to put our screws back in. All right, so that was the last screw there. And now we have it all assembled. So now grab your PC, turn it completely off, unplug the power supply. Uh, generally speaking, if you have a graphics card in, you can remove it so you can see what you're doing. Uh, this is going to go in, oh, uh, upside down. So the heat sink is going to be in the down position when you go to install this. you got to figure out under here um, which one it's going to go in. I'm going to put it in the one right below, if it'll fit, right below the graphics card. It should fit. I need to get my screwdriver. And we need to take out one of these brackets in the rear. Okay, so I did, I just took this out. You don't need to take that out with this one. I'm thinking about some other ones that I wanted to show you. So this does not need the rear bracket out um, because it's got no input or output ports on the rear. So you just take this and you put it into the PCI Express. 
according to your manual. You have to look at your manual. The top one is by 16. My one just under that is by 16. And what it's going to do is it's because it's going to be sharing lanes. It may, may, but this is, uh, this should support without it, but it may turn your graphics card in from a six by 16 to a by eight. So both of them would be by eight. So we're gonna take this and put it in like that until you hear it click in like that. I got a monitor here for us. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see, this is an uninitialized drive. Uh, so we should be able to, it's kind of hard for me to see. Uh, we want disk management and it should pop up with a new drive. Uh, it did not. I thought it was partitioned. Oh, you know what? This, this one would not be. So it looks like it is seeing it. Ah, look at that. It had some stuff on it. NVIDIA. Oh, this had a copy of Windows on it. So look at that. That, that was that easy. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to uh, clean the disc. So that way it makes it look like it's brand new and it's gonna be, uh, I thought it was, but apparently it had a um, uh, partition or some windows or something on it. So we're going to do uh, disk, oops. This, whoop, that was the wrong command. Disk part. We're not recognized. What? Disk. That's because it wasn't one word. Okay, now list disk. And now, so. Oops. Select disk zero. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, this is going to act like it's a brand new drive. So if you just installed that, pretend I didn't even do that. And you came over here and he went to disk management right there it found it you have so if we wanted to select that it's unallocated but it's a one terabyte so yeah so now now it sees it and we'll do a new simple volume we're gonna go next next D drive is fine. That's fine, quick format. And away we go. So now you have this in here. That'd be a whole nother drive. Let's do a speed test on it. See what kind of speeds we're getting on D. Let's just do the sequential read and writes and see what we get. Not bad, but a little low um, for the reads. Should be closer to 7,000, I think, but I'll take that. The writes are going to be closer to like 48, 5,000. Uh, that's what I'm expecting. There we go. Now let's go over to CPU Z. So, yes. It looks like right here. See right here where it says by eight? I believe that used to say 
16. So what it did is it, it cut it in half. And just to confirm that, let's shut the computer down. I'll pull that out and we'll check on that. All right, so I got the, uh, the unit back out of the system now. We're gonna go right back over to the CPU-Z. You could use, I believe, GPU-Z also. We wanna do the 64. Let me get us zoomed back in here also. So you can see my big pretty face. And I know there's a new current version. We're gonna go right here to motherboard and down there, look at that, by 16. So that just confirms it. And I just wanna demonstrate that so you know exactly what it does. So as you can see, the bandwidth on the graphics card slot got cut in half. So, which means this is running at eight, which it doesn't even need by eight. It only needs by four. Now this is running at by eight when it could potentially run faster. So just keep that in mind if you're a heavy video editor or um, you know a heavy, heavy graphics card user for any kind of AAA games or anything like that. So, but this was just to get you more storage. So maybe you're light duty on those things and you like, um, you like a lot of videos and pictures and stuff and you just need more storage. Very simple way to get this. And these are relatively cheap off of Amazon. I do have some affiliate links down below if you're looking for uh, anything like that. And by clicking on any of those links, I do get a very, very small commission from anything that you purchased. And uh, it does not cost you any more as the purchaser. And uh, I cannot see who bought them or where you're from. I can only see what was purchased and for how much it was. So, and of course, my commission off of it. It's usually just one or two percent, if that. That's gonna do it for this video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you wish. If you have not subscribed, consider subscribing and then hit that bell icon next to the subscription button just to get notified for any future videos that I do post and give this thing a thumbs up to show a little support and uh, keep those smiles going. I'm gonna say at the end of videos now or I'm gonna try to anyway, try to remember that. Um, and uh, that's gonna do it for this video. So until next time, take care.